The Joint Transportation Executive Council, chaired by Minister Blair Lextrom and Secretary Paula Hammond, addresses cross-border transportation challenges. The British Columbia Ministry of Transportation and Infrastructure and the Washington State Department of Transportation coordinate with partners through the International Mobility and Trade Corridor Project. Working together, our agencies continue to make extraordinary progress towards improving border efficiency, focusing on jobs, freight mobility, and two-nation vacation tourism. We are making trusted traveler and trader programs work better, which is the focus of the recent U.S.-Canada Beyond the Border Vision Declaration and Action Plan. These efforts could not have come at a better time. In October 2011, 1.2 million people crossed the Cascade Gateway. This is the highest October total in 11 years, up 20% compared to October 2010. The Cascade Gateway consists of four border crossings, connecting the people and economies of our two nations. The extraordinary partnership between transportation and inspection agencies is maximizing the performance of our system. What are the results of this partnership? Delays for trucks entering the U.S. at the Pacific Highway crossing in 2011 were the longest of the entire U.S.-Canada border. A 2011 pilot project changed the southbound truck lane configuration to use existing processing capacity more efficiently. The pilot was a huge success, reducing overall truck delays from an average of 50 minutes to 15 minutes while continuing to move fast trucks with minimal delay. BCMOT will invest an additional $1 million to make the pilot project changes permanent. Travelers who enroll in the Nexus program use dedicated lanes to enjoy shorter inspections, which reduce delays and idling time. Nexus is currently available at Peace Arch and Pacific Highway. The U.S.-Canada Beyond the Border Action Plan specifies that Nexus will expand to remaining Cascade Gateway crossings by 2013. The Advanced Traveler Information System, or ATIS, uses technology to translate traffic data into handy trip planning information, helping travelers avoid lengthy delays. WSDOT, BCMOT, and Whatcom Council of Governments have added equipment and expanded the system on both sides of the border. In 2009, the Alder Grove Linden Port processed $377 million in Washington exports and $40 million in British Columbia exports. Although truck processing has been limited, demand for freight access remains high. We are encouraging CBSA to incorporate full-service commercial processing in their future projects. BCMOT and WSDOT have initiated design work on the highway approaches to support both northbound and southbound port expansion. This is the first step toward constructing improvements at this important regional crossing. It will be important to secure funding for design and construction and keep these highway projects on track. Amtrak Cascades supports connections between Washington and Vancouver, BC. Following the addition of the second daily train in 2009, ridership into Vancouver has increased to more than 75,000 per year. Passengers contribute over $20 million per year in spending in British Columbia. These ridership increases were made possible by CBSA's commitment to fund inspection of the second daily train to Vancouver, with the U.S. and Canada's declared commitment to fully pre-clear U.S.-bound passengers in Vancouver, B.C. We will eliminate an additional stop at the border and improve reliability by shaving more than 10 minutes off corridor travel time. WSDOT will reach out to British Columbia and Oregon to coordinate a corridor investment policy. Together with our partners, we are expanding technology and improving operations of trusted traveler and trader programs. These strategies are producing positive results and we anticipate great success for our ambitious 2012 work program. So we're going to improve our infrastructure, we're going to introduce new technologies, we're going to improve cargo security and screening, all designed to make it easier for our companies to do business and create jobs. Ladies and gentlemen, today's agreements will yield lasting benefits to travelers, traders, manufacturers, in fact, everybody whose legitimate business or pleasure takes them across the border.